All right, guys, this is a nice problem that is asking to find the radius of the circle. So here we have the circle, which has a radius r. We have a smaller square of side 3, and we have a bigger square of side 6. So let's solve it. Let's double the figure. So here we can note that the diagonal of the bigger square, d1, it's composed by the diagonal of the smaller square, d2, plus the radius of the circle, plus this distance here, x. So now we have a relationship where d1 is equal to d2 plus r plus x. So if we can find d1, d2, and x, we can find the radius. Let's put the box around this equation. So we have to solve this equation here. To find d1, d2, and x, note that here in the first figure, we have a right triangle of side 6, 6, and the hypotenuse, which is d1. We can use the Pythagoras theorem that says that hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the sides. We can also use the Pythagoras theorem to find d2. Here we have a right triangle of side, side is 3, and hypotenuse d2. And we can also use the Pythagoras theorem to find x in terms of the radius. Note here that we have a right triangle where this side here is the radius, and this side here, which can, can be translated to here, is also the radius. So let's find d1. d1 squared is equal to 6 squared plus 6 squared, which is equal to 36 plus 36, which is equal to 72. We can take out the square root, which says that d1 is equal to square root of 72. 72 is equal to 36 times 2. We can rewrite it as 6 square root of 2. So here we have find d1. Let's use the same reasoning to find d2. Pythagoras theorem, d2 squared is equal to 3 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to 9 plus 9. d2 squared is equal to 18. d2 is equal to square root of 18. But 18 is equal to 9 times 2. So we can rewrite square root of 18 as 3 square root of 2. So we have find here d2. Same reason for x. x squared is equal to r squared plus r squared. x squared is equal to 2r squared. x is equal to square root of 2r squared. We can take out the r squared from the square root. So x equal to r square root of 2. So here we have find x. So now everything we have to do is to substitute these values into this equation here to find out the radius r. So let's do this. We have already substituted. Now we are going to take the 3 square root of 2 to the left side of the equation and factor out the radius r to obtain exactly this expression here. So now let's just put this right side of this equation to the left and this left side to the right. So let's just rearrange it to obtain this equation here. So now we can take this term inside the parentheses and put it to the other side, dividing to obtain that the radius is equal to 3 square root of 2 divided by 1 plus square root of 2. If we calculate it, it is approximately 1.7574, which is our final result. If you want to learn how to solve problems like this, please subscribe to the channel.